What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome to the first playthrough of Extreme Battle Mode in Resident Evil 2. So this will be my starting playthrough of this minigame, and in it, we're going to do the only level that's currently unlocked, level 1, and we're going to use Leon S. Kennedy. So here we go. So I explain in detail a lot about the game beforehand and my prologue to Extreme Battle Mode. So if you want to know a bit before I get started, I suggest you go back to that video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get this on. Leon S. Kennedy, here is his arsenal. Let's go. Good luck. Well, I'm gonna need it. Alrighty. So here's what we have to start with. We have three weapons, no ammo for, no backup ammunition for them, and we got five ink ribbons, because you can save within this mode. Like I said in the prologue, this is almost a whole game in itself. Alright. And I'll probably keep that blue herb on me, just in case. But I do not need the ink ribbon for now, and I definitely don't need a magnum for now. So I'm going to stash those two. Now, I don't want to take too long in this mode, so I'm not going to go anywhere that is really going to be too out of the way. So I could go through there and get some ammo, but I'm going to skip out on it. And most enemies I'll probably just try to avoid if I can. since I'm not a bad dodger. Oh, well, except for that. health items here. Store that magnum ammo. And I'll get rid of the first aid spray. Um, for the rest, I think I'll keep it there for now. Now, there's some things I can gather... There's some special items you can gather throughout this mode, 
Um, there's a submachine gun located in the power room where Ada supposedly died in the second scenario for Leon. Um, I'm not gonna go and get that though. I don't really need a submachine gun. Um, there's handgun parts somewhere around here. They should have been in that, um, that one room where I got the handgun ammo. It's usually in there, but it wasn't this time. That's the thing with Extreme Battle Mode, it randomizes a lot of stuff. Especially in the higher levels. So, apparently it's in a different location now. And I don't know if I want to go scuttling through the lab just to find it. I mean, it's handgun parts, it will just make my handgun burst fire. So, I guess it's not really too necessary, it'll just eat through my ammo. So, I'll forget about it and I'll go ahead and move on. I'll store these herbs for now. Ah. All right, the first stage is clear. There are a total of three stages. The first stage was getting through the lab. The second stage is going to be getting through the sewers. All right, so fight to the police precinct. Here we go. Anything I'm over here? No. Alright, more handgun ammo. Nice. We're using it quite a bit now. And just in case, I'm gonna get another herb on me. Alright, here we go. You would. What the? F doing too well for this section. Alright, shotgun ammo. This is why I even went bothered with that. Oh, more Magnum ammo, that's always good. I'll probably develop enough ammo to the point where it'll be like the regular game, and I'll just end up having an overage of ammo. Slight detour here because there's a rocket launcher. 
As of right now, though, I don't have enough space for it. But I get, at least I get ammo along the way, so that's always a plus. You gotta be shitting me. these herbs so I can be back in pure fine. Alright, take this herb in case there's some other herbs around. Alright, I'm gonna look around here because I believe I believe somewhere around the sewers in these areas there's shotgun parts. 